Hi, this is Harvey with Harvey Property Management Group. Today I want to talk about renewal fees. If you've watched some of my other blogs or spoke to me over the telephone or in person, you'll know that part of my investment philosophy is that the only way to be successful is to eliminate vacancies and turnovers and create long-term tenants. This is how we operate our management company as well. I started this philosophy on my own portfolio over 20 years ago, and it must work because my average tenancy on my single family homes now exceeds seven years, and my average tenancy on my duplexes is between three and five years. I begin my methods in the following way. First, I only use materials that last. They should look good and hold up over long periods of time. Second, when I do my screening, I look for tenants who are looking for a home. They want to remain there. They're not just looking for a house to live in and then the next year move on to the next property. Third, within reason, we do everything we can to make the tenants happy, not only with us as the property management company, but with the property itself. Fourth, we take every opportunity we can, starting from the day of move-in, to reinforce in that tenant's mind that this is going to be their home for a long period of time. We'll take opportunities throughout the tenancy, should the situation arise, where we can discuss with them the option of renewing their lease. I'll give you a couple of examples. We had a tenant who moved into a beautiful house, and after they had been there about seven, eight months, we received a notice in the mail that at the end of their lease, they planned on moving. We immediately called the tenant to ask why. We started the conversation with, we're surprised to have received this notice. You've had very little maintenance problems. It's a beautiful house, and we feel that we've responded to your needs as quickly as possible. She admitted that she was very happy with us and would like to move to one of our other houses. We asked a few more questions, and what we found was that even though she liked the house, there had been two break-ins on that street within the last two months. She didn't feel safe being there anymore. We spoke a little bit more and came up with a plan. If the owner would agree to install an alarm system, she would agree to pay for the monthly monitoring and that would make her feel safe. I spoke to the owner and he immediately agreed. He saved a $900 a month vacancy, he saved his turnover cost, he saved his leasing fees. As it turned out, the alarm company agreed to put in the system for only $99 since the tenant signed a 12-month agreement. He saved himself at least two or three thousand dollars just by having a $99 alarm system and a half a month's rent renewal fee. Another example is a tenant who contacted us the month after she moved in asking if she could paint the bedrooms a different color. We took this opportunity to discuss with her the option of renewing her lease for another 12 months. The discussion centered around that we wanted her to feel that this house was now her home and wanted her to be a long-term tenant. But of course, we use one paint color for all the properties and it would be an expensive cost at turnover to have the house repainted 
to match our colors. She immediately agreed and that owner was able to have a 12-month extension all for only the cost of a half month leasing fee. Another huge savings of money for that owner. Both these tenants were extremely happy with the end result, a win-win for both sides. Now, many property managers feel that getting a renewal should be a cheap fee because it takes no effort. I wonder how many of those property managers take every opportunity to create a renewal or do they secretly hope that tenant moves out so they can make more money on the turnover cost and the leasing fee? If you have any more questions about this fee or others or our investment and management philosophy, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Thank you.